Hello everyone, my name is The Craven, this is some more Stellaris. We're about to start playing a game, but before we do, I do have the caveat that I'm running an old computer. I'm getting a new one in a couple of months. Probably end of June, I hope. So, until then, I'm really annoyed by this i actually already was starting to record and then i was like getting so pissed off at it the game is well a little bit stuttery it might just be the current build it's a pre-release build it might already be fixed for uh the coming release on monday but at least on my computer on big maps it starts to stutter in that you can actually see when aircraft are flying through space you can see every day take by that they're in space and it annoys me um, if we're out on the big map it's not as noticeable at all because it's just a few of the graphics in the game that will be um, changing around so we're not gonna play on the huge map because it does have an impact um, then again, I could play on a huge map and just play with less AI. I'm not going to go with any advance. I'm just I'm going to try it on the huge map anyway. I'm just go I'm just going to power through it. I'm going to be pissed off at it at times. It's just it's not optimized well, or it's my computer being too old, or it's a bug that hasn't been fixed. It can be a lot of things. It can be fixed by Monday. This is a pre-release build. I'm playing a week ahead of time. Uh, anyway, just as a recap, we're playing the United Nations of Earth with uh, President Evangelé. Um, individualist, pacifist, materialist, direct democracy. We have lasers, we have warp travel. We're nomadic, quick learners, and natural engineers. Actually, um... No... Traits. Uh... National inclination towards sociology and biological studies, physicists, astral phenomena. Or actually basically all of these. Then we would have to pick intelligence and that's a two cost. Uh, but yeah, no. Humans are natural scientists, uh, engineers to be honest. Anyway, let's just dive in it. I'm only going to go with 16 AIs now because it does help having less stuff around the map travel. Even though... Having a thousand stars is in itself already something. Anyway, in the eons since the first primitive human communities took shape on the grassy savannas of Earth, our civilization has spread and prospered. As our technology progressed to a level that, allow that allowed for instantaneous communications, our inefficient nation states emerged, merged together to form a true democracy with every citizen having a say in important decisions. Now, after the successful creation of several experimental subspace fields, the finest minds of the United Nations of Earth have finished development of the first warp drives. The stars themselves are finally within our grasp. Okay, so... Uh, first things first, I return on the tutorial. Tutorial missions and tips are enabled. Yes. Building a star empire can be a daunting task. To help get things started, I will be providing instructional missions that cover the basic steps necessary to establish ourselves as a successful interstellar power. This is our science ship, which is used to survey astronomical objects such as planets in a star system. A planet needs to be surveyed in order to make its resources visible. Yeah, there we go. It's our science ship. Um, we're going to set him out. Of course, we're going to start by surveying... Oh! No, no, we're going to start by surveying Luna. And then it's going to make a trip around the uh, system. Now, the situation log displays a list of all currently available special projects and various other points of interest. New items will likely appear as we begin exploring the galaxy. So the situation log is basically sort of a mission guide, a quest system, to tell you what to do and what you can do. Uh, in the beginning, at least with the tutorial, it's that way. It, it just shows you things, you know. Now let's have a look. So the situation log has been updated. We have a construction ship. We have military fleets. We have our this own world. This is our world. home world and the capital of our empire. 
The planet summary screen, which we are currently looking at, provides an overview of the planet's important statistics. Okay, so we have a habit habitability of 100%. It's the perfect world for us. Uh, we are creating six energy, four minerals, five food, one physics society, and engineering research. Basically, that's base production, I think, planet resources. Natural resources on this planet. Ah, we need that. That's what we can get from the surface. And this is our current output 10 energy, 9 minerals. So Here we, we see this... a visual representation of this planet's surface exactly. divided into tiles. This tab is only visible on colonies and surveyed worlds that are habitable. Each pop occupies a single tile, which means that there can never be more pops on a planet than there are free tiles. Okay, so we have some sprawling slums and some industrial wasteland. I would like to start clearing this yeah. wasteland. Uh, we cannot do that yet. We cannot afford, we do not have the energy to do this, sadly. Yeah. Um, yeah. Some gather. buildings may cause adjacency effects to other buildings in neighboring tiles. Let us take this into consideration when constructing new facilities. Okay, I'm going to build a hydroponics farm on a tile with food. And that will, um, if you build a building, they will add that, what the building produces, to that tile. If something is already on the tile and you build a building that has that same production, then that will be added to it. So let's do the hydroponics farm there. I would also like to go to my spaceport. The spaceport tab is where we view orbiting fleets, build new ships, and upgrade the station itself. If a planet has no spaceport, we can order the construction. This is where we manage all ground forces on this planet. The upper portion of this view is divided into three sections. The top section represents the orbital space above the planet. The middle section is the atmosphere, and the bottom section is the surface. Ah. So that's these three levels of defenses, eventually. There, there's a whole lot in there. So there's also... Um, so we're going to survey our home system. I'm also going to start the our research. The technology screen is where we will be directing our research efforts. Technologies are categorized into three different fields, with each field typically having three available research options. Okay, so what we can do now is either a solar panel network, which is going to be a module for our spaceports, or field modulation, which allows us better power plants, or blue lasers, which allows us better shooting. Uh, that's that's just physics, you know. Oh, hello. Oh, she's good. She's really good. He's research speed voidcraft. Okay. And rocketry. Oh, okay. So that that depends on these things. They will become better. Um, let's go with the field modulation. You're going to be researching a, a colony ship. New World Protocol. Very important. Uh, defense platform. Deep space platforms far from the gravity wells of a planetary body. Ah, that allows us to put up the defense things. But I think I want a engineering facility for more engineering research. It takes 48, 65 and 48 months before that's all done. Wow. So yeah, let's unpause and then I can show you exactly what I mean with the stuttering, sadly. So here's our science ship. One day, two day. Three days, four days, five days, six days, seven days. There's every every the vast distances that separate star systems. Our scientists have developed the warp drive. Ships equipped with this device can travel between systems at velocities exceeding that of light speed. Yeah, so every tick we lose about ten frames just randomly, because the game decides that <laughs> screw that up. It's really weird. Nothing special on Luna, sadly. Even when zoomed out, it's slightly noticeable. Researching new technologies will be critical to our success. I tell you this not merely as a product of unfettered technological progress, but as your trusted advisor and, I suspect, your only true friend. But it's purely graphical because the sound never cuts out for me. The game seems to still be running quite smoothly. It's just graphically, you, I keep losing 
some frames every single tick. Hostile fleet detected. Wait, what? These are unknown spacefaring entities. We can learn more about them and maybe even initiate first contact by completing the appropriate special project. Whoa, they went really fast. Construction complete. So, we just found aliens. The, but they're not there yet. Okay, so... Okay, that was kind of weird. Anyway, we have a new science ship built. And... The leaders tab lets us hire, dismiss, and assign idle governors, scientists, admirals, and generals. We're allowed to have 10 leaders in total. We currently can only hire scientists. So I'd like to get a scientist for my... Uh... Can I just cancel these and get another? No, I can only hire from these three. Uh, field manipulation, both are those, and that's just standard research speed. I'm gonna go with Saburo Nakamura. Because he's the youngest of them all. Leader experience gain is already doing things. Yeah, these all have research speed, yeah. Would have been nice if to find an archaeologist. That would have been really nice. Um... I'm gonna help surveying the home system with this guy so it finishes faster and we get the first mission completed faster. Oh yeah, the game looks amazing. Oh, mining station. Oh, hello. Mercury could use a mining station Military now. Fleet, so yeah. This is our construction ship, which is used to construct space stations. When an astronomical object, such as a planet, has been surveyed, we can order this ship to build a research station or a mining station to exploit any resources it may have. Okay, so I'm going to move my construction ship to Mercury because Mercury has three minerals. And I would like to get those minerals every single month, every time. But we need 81, so we need to wait until May to actually start building it. So it also wants me to build that in the tutorial section as well, which is fine. Yeah, it's slightly noticeable. I mean, less having less AIs is helping compared to what I had in the my first try building or er, building uh, playing. But it's definitely playable. It's just annoying. It might just be a purely graphical bug. Because the game is not even out yet, you know? And my computer is six years old, which is not helping. And I'm getting a new one this year. Aha! It is me, so we can start building our mining station over here. Built mining station, yes. Uh, nothing else yet found. Hmm. Left our sensor range. Yeah, really fast at that rate, by the way. How long will it take you to build that? 100 days or so? 90, 100 days, it seems. <laughs> Let's go to faster speed right now. Because there's not much to do right now, so. Nothing on Mars, and that's sad. Venus and Juno 3. Nothing here. Venus has research. Surveyed worlds sometimes possess unique properties that make them valuable objects of research. These physics, society, or engineering resources can be collected by a research station. My programming strongly compels me to compel you to build one. Yeah. Strongly. Construction complete. Aha! Surface construction is complete on Earth. Which means we have a hydroponics farm. And this tile is now producing three food. 
Capital World Ethics, Divergence, Happiness, Branded Border Extrusion. Hmm. So we're now getting five food. Produce 13.2 and consume seven. Population seven out of ten. Population growth 2.9 every month. Okay. Mm hmm. Ah, that's a new pop that's being grown right now. Um, yeah, clearing these also costs minerals. We need more minerals. We require more minerals. Surface tiles on habitable planets are sometimes blocked, preventing their use. Clearing a tile blocker takes time and costs minerals and energy credits, but the free space often makes it worthwhile. Yeah, some of this... Very good. The new mining station is operational. And it has already begun gathering resources for processing. Very good. Ooh, we've gained a level on Mbali Masuku. That's that one. You're done. Mining stations are used to extract the minerals and strategic resources of the object they orbit. Excellent. So you are going to go to Venus. <laughs> Anomaly found. Anomaly in Jupiter's sensor profile is a, a mid-sized vessel was briefly detected inside the upper atmosphere of this gas giant. Ah. There's a very high risk though, so I don't want to um, do that research right now. We'll have to go back to Jupiter at one point. It's level 3 normally, and I can only do like level 2s now with that one person. Did we have it a bit? Not surveyed yet. Okay, that's fine. Oh, hello. Ah, Nakamura is now also level 2. Also, Callisto and Ganymede also have good things. No, because Ganymede has a higher amount. I'm gonna go get me a science uh, a research station up here first, and then Venus. Also, we are engineering focused, so. Tile blocker, tech research. We're working on it. Didn't we have 15% on this one? Gwen Gwendolyn, Juvina, and Danielle. Daniel. Huh. Yeah, they need 81 to build that, so it's two more months. Can start building it in January. Uranus has also been... Uranus has already been surveyed. I think Neptune and Triton were the last two. Well done. The survey of our home system has been completed. We now have access to planetary data that the astronomers on our home world could only dream of a mere generation ago. Very nice. System has been surveyed. Now, you are going to go to Alpha Centauri. And you, I want to go to Barnard Star. And let's actually look at the close region. See, this is our... Uh, where we are. So, because we have warp drive, they're all going outside the gravitational pull of the sun to just jump out and get to a new system much quicker. Anyway, you are going to build me a research station there. And as you can see, our science ships are moving. See, oh, that's a different one. Looks like an exploring uh, alien vessel encountered. Yeah, Alpha Aliens. Did not take long for the United Nations of Earth to come across intelligent alien life. The fleet's report to the human capital somewhat understates just how alien these forces appear, and only in passing mentions failure, the failure to open comms. So we're going to research these. 
aliens. It takes us Remarkable. a half a year. We have discovered spacefaring alien entities that may or may not be intelligent. But, let's face it, probably are. Their true nature will remain a mystery to us until we complete the appropriate project to investigate them. I suggest we do so post-haste, lest they investigate us first. Well, we've discovered alien life. And I want to thank you all for watching. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. And bearing with me with the graphical glitch that's currently going on. Hopefully it's fixed soon. Otherwise it's my computer. So, and then it will be two months. <sighs> anyway, uh, yeah, subscribe if you want to keep up to date in the future. And I'll see you guys later.